Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with simpleroptions.com and in tonight's free video I wanted to show you two markets that I'm looking at setting up the short side on. Now the indexes had a nice gap up to start the day. They gave back some of that into the close and I think it's safe to say that your day-to-day -day action you know, it can be very volatile. It's a little bit more of a day trading environment as opposed to the swing trading environment that so many had become accustomed to. Okay, with that in mind, I'd like to have some positions that if we wake up on Tuesday or Wednesday and things really are starting to break down, that I think I can come in and look at some bearish positions. Now, at the same time, I don't necessarily want to rush these ideas. I'd like to get into something where if um, the trade can start going my way on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I can follow it into the April expiration. Because one of the things that I'm sitting here thinking about is you have a nice 195 minute squeeze here in Facebook. Uh, the April expiration, we still have 11 days of life in this, and the expected move into that expiration is right there at about $9. I like the idea of considering a butterfly down into 150 now you can structure this in a couple of different ways, but generally speaking, the most basic way of going about it would be to buy this $5 wide. You can see that's going for a 60 cent debit. Um, of course, you do need to see this break, get down below 155, but if the markets are destined for another leg lower, I think that's a good way to look at pursuing that trade. You can always sell call spreads to help offset that debit cost. Of course, if you start to break above this area and close above 160, then I'd have to revisit the idea. Uh, but right now, I do like the idea of playing Facebook short. Another place to be considering this idea is in Tesla. Now Tesla does not have the same signal off the 195 minute squeeze, but if you come back to the weekly squeeze, this signal has yet to fire, so um, when these do transition or go from a period of relatively quiet price action or consolidation and really start to move, those moves can be considerable. So last week you, pretty, you saw a pretty sharp bounce back off of some timing work. The failure in this today I think tells me that there's more to the downside in this. Um, I did see that you had a 39 minute squeeze as you were heading into the end of the day. It's on the 78 actually. So it's just the idea that same way of thinking here. It's not to say that Tesla's going to head back and take out the lows, but could you look at structuring a butterfly for the monthly expiration down here around 270? If these markets can continue lower, that's a conservative way of playing them that should um, give you some exposure to the downside. So I'll be looking at these as Tuesday and Wednesday get opened up and then updating those along with last week's buy side recommendations on Friday. So, good trading, and we will update then. A quick update on one of the webinars that we have coming up. So this one is still on the um, out on the horizon a little ways on April 17th, but Bruce is going to be doing a free webinar on straddles and strangles. So in this type of an environment, this can be an excellent strategy, and it's all about knowing when to put them on and, of course, how to set them up, and Bruce will be an excellent resource to pick up them some good information on that. So if you'd like to join us, that's going to be next Tuesday, the 17th. That'll be at 7 p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there.